Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM, and I have just noticed that our Thin Man has turned back into the Muton down here. I'm not sure what controls that output there, but hey, I just noticed that. So, how's it going guys? Back playing XCOM again. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we're waiting for all sorts of things to happen on. Uh, mostly we're waiting so we, for the uh, research to happen, so we can... Uh, interrogate these guys here. Uh, we're also waiting for engineering to build all these satellites and we're but waiting to build up enough money so we can build some more satellite uplinks. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this horrible sort of mess of things that are not where they're supposed to be here. Uh, what I'd really like to do is move these two, possibly move this one first, the workshop down to here. Um, and then the foundry over here and then just have a, a blob of satellite stuff. I'm not sure, but that's going to cost me more money than I actually have at this present moment in time. Another thing I'd like to do is go check out the crew, see how uh, what people we've got um, wounded at the moment. Uh, just Brit, that, that's fine. What are these? What are these? Is it, so this guy, Ian Walker, must be the person I got from uh, the last... Uh, was it abduction mission? I think they offered me a sniper, and I really wanted a sniper. The the name Loki, I am not in agreement with though. We'll we'll have to come up with something a little bit better than that. Um, in fact, if we're gonna go now, am I gonna mix up my things here? I want to say Hawkeye, but is Green Arrow the one with this with Loki? I don't know. We'll we'll find out. Um, okay, and um, this I I don't know where this person's come from at all, even slightly. She is a heavy. Um, yeah, no, okay, well, let's let's pick some stuff. Wow, look at all this. Okay, well, we're going to have a lot of things to pick. Uh, I really like the hollow targeting, so we're going to go with that. Brilliant. Uh, suppression or shredder rocket? Well, we're going to go with suppression, as we have done the shredder rocket with Marquez. Uh, heat ammo confers 100% against robotics, and rapid reaction confers a second reaction shot. Well, we hardly ever make use of that second reaction shot, at least as far as I'm aware. So we're going to have this one uh, taking out robots. Uh, two grenades, or increases area effect on suppression or rocket attacks by two tars. I think we're going to go with the extra grenade, yeah. And the will to survive is just going to have it. Okay, brilliant, bam, there's that one done. Oh, this is a this is a bit of a different start to the the, the, the um, episode than I thought I was going to be doing. I thought I was going to be uh, going just straight to the mission control and, and blasting out the next mission. But here we go. So first one, headshot. What do we want to do now? Snapshot or so? What's this? Uh, Analysis sniper's rifle's reaction on firing Overwatch after moving. Any shots taken suffer. It? Nah, no. Nah, we're going to go for the squad site straight up. Um, confers a plus two on pistols. I use my pistol a lot. Uh, but plus 10 on aim and defense. We're going to go with the pistols. Yep. Uh, disabling shot or battle scanner. We're going to go for the disabling shot because I've never found the battle scanner to actually be any use at all. Uh, the captain level, uh, executioner or opportunist, uh, eliminates the aim penalties on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to kill. Maybe that one. Um, confers a 10% against targets with less than 50% health. Ooh. Mm. Let's go with that one, just in case. Okay, I mean, he is just our backup anyway. Uh, I'm sure we'll swap him and Nakagawa out. Yeah, okay, well, there we go. That, yeah, that, that, that caught me a little bit off guard there. I wasn't expecting that. We've got quite, quite a good team on the go now. I mean, I know we've got like this extra support that we're not really interested in, but three assaults, well, along with Brett down the bottom here. That, that's interesting. Okay, well, that, that was good. Um... Nothing really going on with these, is there? Let's let's have a look. It's been a while. We've got seven hours repair there. That's fine, as long as something else is on backup. Uh, I am a little bit worried that these Phoenix cannons are not quite powerful enough now. We should probably go and have a look in engineering, is it? When we go to the buy and build. And then over here, I believe we can have the Phoenix cannon. Now, it's quite cheap, and we've got like a lot of ones to, to do. So let, let's go for three, and we can at least have one on every continent. I think that was how many we needed. Should we go check? So back to the hangar. Brilliant. View ships. Okay, so yeah, three we can go on every hangar. So let's, let's go in here. Edit loadout. Uh, Phoenix cannon. Bam. So far, they've been doing me quite well. So we're going to carry on with these, of course. All right, now, I have kind of left myself in a bit of a... Bit of a problem. Hang on, let's do this properly. Uh, confirm. So these things are dead for a day. 
which could be trouble. I mean, we could order more interceptors, but the, the maintenance cost is starting to go up a little bit. Okay, double check the situation room quickly, just so I know what's going on. I don't like these, I don't like these, um, but we will do something about them at some point. There's nothing really we can do right now. Uh, off to mission control. Trying to wait for this skeleton suit, really. Commander, oh. the satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, well, when, when and if, I will then give that. Oh, I didn't want to assign a new project. Hit the wrong button by reflex. All right, let's just carry on scanning. Come on, skeleton suit, what we want. There we go, all the Phoenix cannons are done. Skeleton suits are good. We want to go and assign a new research, but we get the skeleton suit for manufacture. We have to go find out what that's about. Um, combining medium weight body armor with an integrated grappling hook for scaling objects in the field, hey? That sounds nice. Right, these are priorities. We're not going to bother with those. Uh, we're going to... Oh, do we do the muton autopsy first or the muton interrogation? Maybe the thin man interrogation? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Oh, look at those psychopaths there. They think the white coat makes it alright, do they? What an angry face. What an angry, angry face. Think anything's gonna happen? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so let's get back to wasting time. Um, Commander, oh. our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. I'm sure, I'm sure. I really do have quite a few things lined up at once. Uh, the council report is coming up soon. Um, not impressed with some of the levels of, of panic going on, but you know, that's what we got. That's what we got. That's what we deal with. Let's see what's going on with this Thin Man research. UFO technology research credit own. Uh, okay. Capturing one of the invaders infiltration specialists and providing both illuminating and disturbing. Although at first glance they co closely resemble the human film form, they are trained to communicate in a variety of terrestrial languages. This specimen is far from human. We have assumed its role as infiltration unit will preclude us from gaining anything from value during interrogation. However, as it turns out, the captain was surprisingly pliable once we began the procedure. Weak. Weak. Uh, reconnaissance and infiltration specialist. Uh, navigation suit. Okay. So that that's where that comes from. All right, that's fine. Should we... Um, up a muton next. That sounds good. I, I want to try and get these out of the way. aggressive specimen we've discovered so far, which the troops fondly refer to as the muton. Oh, you know, I can cute. only assume there's a colourful backstory for such a designation. Oh, there must be, right? Should we go find out what it is? No, I, I mean, I, I can't really be able to go find out what it is, at least on camera. I will read it, though, at some point, I am sure. Complete. So, we've got the, uh, the, the the messed up excavation happened where I just lip misclicked in an area. Let's find out what the uh, the mutons have given us. Ammo conversion project. Ooh, what does that mean? What what ammo can I convert to one? Uh, new foundry projects available. Uh, muton armor contains servo motors that function as automatic weapon loaders, allowing their weapons to carry more ammunition without requiring the soldier to pause for a full reload. We could apply some of this techniques to our stuff. Yes, please. But let's interrogate a muton next, and then then we're done for the things we've captured. I think I don't think we can capture chrysalids. I don't think we can capture the drones. Um, I'm not sure what else we can use the arc thrower on. Oh mate, oh, is he gonna just like rip one off the wall? God, yeah. <laughs> I, I would just like grab it and rip it out, surely, surely. Okay, so that that's starting, that's cool. Um, wow, we've been going for a long time already without a mission starting. This is this is interesting. Uh, the muton research is complete. What have we gone got from this? Research credit for plasma weaponry. But we haven't have we done plasma weaponry? Ah, oh, look at that plasma pistol and pl plasma rifle. It's going to take some time, but now is the time to do it before we do this lot. I've got a feeling. Now, I'm, I know this is a bit meta now, but I've got a feeling the game will not move on until I do those. So I'm just going to do some of the researches that I've been meaning to do. Um, and we've got a council report coming up. So we're going to have a look at, this, at the situation room. Now, the, the council report is pretty scary. Um, I'd like to try and keep these guys in, but I don't, I don't think any of them are going to leave while they're at this much panic. I hope not. I hope not. Um, it, it's halfway tempting to, to save it here and see what happens, but we're going to live by it. We're just going to go uh, almost permadeath style, if you will. Just keep going. Transmission decoded. Right. We are Talk extremely to me. impressed with the progress of the XCOM project. You say far, the same Commander. every month. Please. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. 
and three months in a row you should expect it all, all right fair enough go away please go away I want to read all this lot uh, so we got an A that's good we got some monies finally so we can get like another satellite network Nexus up um, probably gonna move the workshop to a slightly more convenient place and the, fo the, the, no, the forge will stay where it is actually uh, we've done the alien base cap uh, council meeting the two UFOs raided 10 research projects complete that's good I like that that's that's a good month we did well we will be watching and I will be watching you because I am Certain you guys are out to get me. This morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. So, uh, can we build another workshop here? Is that something we can do? Um, so it adds adds five engineers. Uh, we're building vehicles, foundry projects. Okay. Well, let's build that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is rip this down. No. Mm, yes, and then we should hopefully be able to do the Nexus, but we need 25 engineers, which we won't get until this is built in 10 days. The new so engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. I really hope that I remember, and we don't have enough money. Mm, okay, so maybe if something comes up, we can do that. Let's have a look at the uh, the grey market quickly. Do we have any lots of anything that needs to be? Uh, okay, so the, the UFO power source needs to be researched, okay. Cannot sell those. We don't really have much else to be sold. A lot of floaters, but that's not going to give us like the hundreds, is it, if we sell... Mm, unless we sell 20 of them, which is a lot, and that that's not really what we're going for. Not really what we're going for at all. Maybe I built too many satellites. I don't know. Uh, oh, Britt Pedersen's back. That's good, that's good. And we got the plasma pistol done. Brilliant. Um... In addition to manufacturing your own plasma pistols, our soldiers should now be able to use the recovered from the battlefield. Yep, we got that one. Um, we can do the, the plasma pistol, we can do improved pistol 3 in the uh, foundry, that's good. Okay, we're going to accept that, we're going to accept that. Um, this, this, this has not been done forever, so let's I do that. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Okay, cool. Uh, that's good. Good, good work. Um, you know, it's the same thing I do all the time, really. Uh, let's have a look. What can we do? What What is this? I mean, is this like full-on armor? Should we build one and see if we can give it to someone and see what happens? That That might be the uh, the way that that we do it. Because um, of course we don't want to waste too much money because we want to build this satellite nexus so we can stop Russia and places from. Leaving XCOM. Our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, carry on. Let's carry on. All right, the UFO power source has been researched. That's good. Lyrium gener generator available for construction. What? What do we, so what do we use Lyrium for? I know there's a facility we could do, but what is it, what's it actually for? Um, indicate that it's used for aliens to generate antimatter energy when providing with certain particles, providing them with nearly inexhaustible pa uh, power source. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, uh, should we do that? Should we do the light plasma rifle? That kind of screams a little bit stronger at me. Um, at the same time, no. Uh, if we do start doing plasma rifles and stuff like that, that means they're, they're going to have plasma rifles. Ah, oh, shit. Can we, can we do this now? Begin the project to this one. There we go. There we go. Job done. Well done, boys. Okay, let's, let's get back to mission control. See what's going on. We've got a workshop building in three days. Maybe we'll get something happening. Um, they want three scatter lasers. Uh, 311. I don't think we can do it right now. We might actually have the money to do it. Let's have a look. It's so a 311 for three. Oh no, wrong place. Here we go. 311 for three scatter lasers. How much do the scatter lasers cost to make? 24. Okay, let's make three. One, two, three. Gonna lose some alloys, but that's all right. Okay, just as I was saying, we needed more money. So there we go. That's that's good. We can come back now. Situation room, I believe it is. The pending request. Awesome. Dispatch them. And hopefully, yeah, there we go, 405, which means we should be able to build the satellite nexus where I wanted to build it, um, in the facilities. Not for another day. Oh, no, here. We can build this, the satellite. Oh, what are we missing now? 25 engineers, not enough engineers on stuff. Got to wait for the 
I remember, I said this last time we were in here, gotta wait for the workshop to finish before we can do so. Got a single day, maybe we'll be able to make it through that. Additional workshop online. Awesome, yes New we will be. arrived this morning, Commander. More of them. We're always glad to have more help down here. Boom, this is what we want. It's gonna pretty much clean us out, but that should be fine. That should give us some, like ultimate satellite coverage. I'm not sure if we've got like too many satellites now or I mean how many can we buy? How, how many how do we keep track of how many we've bought? Uh, it'll be in here somewhere right? Um, satellites. We've got six. So let's go have a look at the situation room and in the situation room we've got one two three four five six so that's on this side and seven on this side. Um, so we, I was just, make, just making sure that we hadn't built too many too many okay so continue scanning and here's the abduction site wow okay we're going to view the abduction we're sites at least several reported abductions via the hologlobe i've got the coordinates locked in so that that's possibly going to be the one just because of the level of panic yeah okay so that's going to be the one gives us more engineers as well which is great but oh that panic i'm really not not sure about that panic but before we do this i'm actually going to say thank you very much for joining me for this R&D style adventure uh, I think the episode's been going on for long enough so I will see you next time when we are going to do this Bye